Hello everyone. I scored 9 band in reading and in listening in IELTS examination. Today I will share some tips regarding how to score 9 band in listening as well as in reading. First of all, when we get the reading module, we must make sure that that the easiest passage should be attempted first and then later on we can attempt the other passages. While attempting, we must make sure and we must notice the time that is running out and we should ensure that we complete one passage in under 15 minutes and after completing one passage we should write the answers side by side on the answer sheet as no time extra will be provided for writing down the answers also while attempting the reading questions we must make sure that we read the question first find the keywords from the questions and then start reading the passage instead of reading the passage first and writing down the answers and uh, attempting attempting the questions later on so while reading the passage skimming and scanning technique must be used that means that we do not have to reach read each and every line and each and every word of the passage but just skim through the text in order to find the keywords and then so that we can find the answers after attempting reading Uh, we must make sure that we have written each and every answer correctly and the spellings are correct if we have time we can go through the questions that we have left but if we do not find any answer of any question we must write something or the other because there is no negative marking and sometimes a chance question can be correct when we practice the reading passages in our free time or before the examination we should make it a habit to complete each and every passage within 15 minutes so that there in the examination hall we will be able to do it in 20 minutes and we must write all the capital uh, all the letters in capital uh, during our examination uh, when we attempt headings we should not read the headings first while reading the questions so as to find the key, po- key points but we must skip on to the next questions and find the key points keywords from those questions for example if a question of headings is given and there are 5 to 6 headings given and we have to find 5 to 6 answers we should not uh, spend time in reading the headings that are given we should instead go on to the next question that may be fill up so true false and not given and find keywords and then attempt the uh, paragraph and read the paragraphs while reading one paragraph we can find the answers on the back that is the true false or uh, any fill ups that are given and after reading one paragraph we can attempt the headings in listening we must make sure that when the pause comes we should read the next question so as to be familiar with what is to come what the speaker will say or is about to say and we must know which kind of questions are to come for example if they are fill ups or mcqs or any other type of question so when we are given the time in between two sections or between uh, a set of questions to read the next questions or check our answer we must do so those instructions are for us to follow and that will help us in listening properly and attempting the listening section also when we uh, we are listening we must not write the answer side by side on the answer sheet but on the question paper itself and when we are given 10 minutes after the uh, audio tape is played we must write the answers only then because sometimes we may commit some mistakes of grammar or spellings which can be corrected later on while writing on the answer sheet uh, we must also make sure that the question uh, asks for one word or two words or a number or something like that and write our answer accordingly in the speaking section we must be fully prepared for our interview and should not be afraid of the interviewer he or she is there to assess us not not to assess our uh, general knowledge or our personality but to assess and uh, mark us on the basis of our english language or proficiency on english language so we must try to answer the questions as long as possible for example if someone asks you what is your favorite color you must not say that my favorite color is red that's it you must elaborate your answer for example my favorite color is red because i think it suits me and uh, it is also the color of the sunset which i very much like so this is the way you should answer the answer the questions that are asked uh, 
and but uh, we uh, you should also not use any kind of personal examples in the follow up questions you should generalize the answers if you are uh, giving examples and then answer the question if you do not know any answer you must be frank and uh, say to the examiner that you do not understand the question or if he may or uh, if he or she may rephrase the question that does not cost you any marks but it shows that you have a quite a hold on english language and that you can ask for something that you require from the examiner so these are the tips and tricks that help me to score 9 band in ielts examination and in order to score more you should come to english mentor at leela bhavan in patiala and at 34 sector in chandigarh thank you